selective remedy fails. This is part two. Already we have the part one. If you are not checked, please check. And this is the part two. So listen these symptoms and try to guess what was the remedy. Okay. In chronic cases, when well selected remedy fails to relieve or permanent to permanently improve. The next clue when sulfur seems indicated but fails to act. And then ailments from suppressed itch or other skin disease when sulfur fails to relieve and severe from even slightest emotion. So can anyone guess the remedy? That is when the chronic case, in chronic case, when the when selected remedy is fails to re, uh, relieve or the when the sulfur seems indicated but fails to act and sometimes there is an ailment from suppressed itch or other skin disease and when sulfur is indicated and it's failed even from a slight emotions. So the remedy is, I think most of you got the remedy, yes, that is Sorainam. So the next one has cured scarletina albinuria after candaris digitalis heliborus has been failed and it has cured where belladonna failed in cuff horses where bryonia and candaris digitalis heliborus etc had failed in albuminuria after scarletina and cases in pulsatla also Next clue that is seemingly indicated failed when tuja, phosphorus, candaris, etc. had failed in affection of the prostate gland. And complete stupor of apolepsy is said to have yield to epis when opium is failed. So I think most of them has been come to that uh, after hearing the first clue that come to a conclusion that is belladonna. So the remedy is Epismelfica. So, Epismelfica is the remedy which has cured scarletina albuminuria after candaris digitalis heliborus has been failed. And it cures whether where belladonna failed in cuff horse and where bryonia candaris digitalis heliborus. These, when these all these remedies are get failed and though it is indicated, we can think of Epismelfica. And then it's indicated where tuja, phosphorus, candaris has been failed in the affection of prostate gland. So we can think of epismelfica. And then complete super after apolepsy is said to have yield to epis when opium is failed. I think if you are listened carefully, you will get the answer from the fourth line itself. So this is the another thing about epismelfica. So the next one. Aphthalmia neonatrum, pus will be, pus is thick and yellow and which is profuse and bland. After the failure of pulse and milk, we can think of this particular remedy. And this remedy, which has precisely the same symptom, is more marked degree and it be used after the failure of pulse at law also. And the 200 and the 1 up potency in watery solution as a topical application in aphthalmia neonatrum and it has been re uh, relieved when crude cell silver nitrate is also failed. So anyone having any idea? I think you may guess the remedy, right? And the remedy is Argentum nitricum. So Argentum nitricum is the remedy we can use uh, 200 potency in 1 amp potency as an external application also. And it is mixed in a watery solution. And then this is, and it has been clinically, I have the experience that it has been uh, cured in some of uh, conjunctivitis cases. And I, I have applied this also. And this is the remedy with similar degree. When the pulsatla is failed, we can think of Argentum nitricum. Usually we'll think of natrum or septia, something like that. But in case of Argentum nitricum, there is when the pulsatla is failed, we can think of Argentum nitricum. 
and when we have the pulp that is the discharge is thick yellow profuse and bland and when it indicated mainly pulsatile and merc we can think of argentum nitricum when these two remedy got failed so the next one is this particular remedy has cured after failure of agaricus and after belladonna chamomilla cicuta and calomel and it has cured many cases especially after the failure of cunein or after the abuse of drug and it is the remedy useful in parotitis accompanying scarlet trina fever after uh, failure of frostox and another thing this is the remedy is useful when during the course of scarletina the parotid gland swells and suppurate after the failure of frostox also so can anyone guess the remedy so this is the remedy arsal so in arsal this is the remedy we can think of when agaricus belladonna chamomilla and cicuta has been failed and in the case it has been arsal has been cured many cases especially the failure of cunein or the after the abuse of drug and it is useful in parotitis accompanying with scarlet rhinorrhea and this is also useful when during the course of scarlet rhinorrhea the parotid gland swells and suppurates after the failure of frostox so the next one this particular remedy is useful after the failure of frostox in lumbago and after ferramet and large indurated tonsil will be cured after bareta carb has failed so bareta carb the tonsil is painless tonsil and this particular remedy has large indurated tonsil will be cured after bareta carb has failed and it cures the lumbago aggravation during rest and better from heat this is agra it's it's a uh, it's a modality similar to rustox and it has been given after when the rustox is also failed so the such remedy is calcarea flu so the calcarea flu is the remedy having the similar modality with rustox and whenever the rustox is get failed in the lumbago we can think of calcarea flu and then when the tonsil is indurated and it will be it it failed to cure the bareta card like it has been it, sometime it has been a painless tonsil and which is an indurator but after prescribing the bareta card we won't get particular improvement then we can think of calcarea flu and this is the remedy when silesia has changed the thin icorus and fluted pus to thick Like and laudable and once but fails to cure the remedy follows well, follows well. And this is the remedy that is calcarea sulf. So here we can think when the silesia has changed the thin, the uh, the patient is presenting with the symptom of silesia, and then the symptoms has been changed with thin icorus fetid pus to thick. Okay, that is thin to thick and laudable, but one fail to cure then this remedy can be think of that the remedy is calcarea sulf so then the end of the remedy the natrum mure also cures the headache of school girls as everyone know calcarea for the natrum mure will cure the headache of school girls sorry calcarea for and here it may be difficult to choose between it this and both so i needed i have sometime missed and had to give this remedy when natrumure failed and vice versa because it could not make the choice so can anyone guess what is the remedy so again i am telling the natrumure is also cures the headache of school girls with the anemic constitution or anemic girls and it difficult to choose between these two remedies okay and in needed i have sometime it's the other uh, someone that citing nash has been mentioned that 
uh, in needed i have sometime missed and had to give this remedy when natramure failed and vice versa because it could not make the choice so the remedy is calcarea fossa yes uh, in the starting itself i have mentioned that calcarea fossa similar to natramure in case of school going girls headache with the anemic state so we can think of this remedy and you may get confused with both remedy so other things like physical general or the sphere of action will while considering that we will come to an conclusion of the final remedy whether the patient is suitable for natramure or the calcarea fossa so this is the remedy is of service in cases of circumscribed in inflammation of auditory canal frequently bringing relief when hepa sulf and picric acid have failed so think of that the particular person will having some circumscribed inflammation in the auditory canal and the symptom that is corresponding to hepa sulf or the picric acid symptom so when these two symptoms or they are matching these two symptoms are uh, forming the totality of hepa sulf and picric acid and we have prescribed that even though the patient is did not get any relief and we can think of this particular remedy that is calcarea picrica this is the remedy when calcarea picrica is the remedy we can think of in the auditory canal affection where the patient is suffering with circumscribed inflammation and uh, hepa sulf and picric acid have given temporary relief but it has been failed to cure then we can think of calcarea picrica so next is the next remedy is in gastric symptoms following dehibitory then when naxomica fails and this remedy is good remedy although sulfur may be required so this particular remedy is coming sulfur is also required after the follow up and when the naxomica has been indicated but it fails and then the stomach also became weak and acidity pyrosis is frequent and the plainest food disagrees fat food especially here the remedy is success when the pulsatla is also failed so i think uh, this is somewhat like a gastric remedy let's see what was the remedy it's a carbovage so carbovage is the remedy we can think when naxomica is failed and after carbovage sulfur may also required by the patient and the stomach is also became very weak acidity pyrosis is frequent and plainest food also disagrees fat food especially the patient will they get disagree from the plainest food and the fat food and the remedy when we think after prescribing pulsatla then then also the patient is not improving with that we can think of carbovage so when with the family history of tubercular affection the best selected remedy fails to relieve or permanently improve with the reference to the name of disease acute cerebral or basilar meningitis with threatened effusion nocturnal hallucination wakes from sleep and frightened and the screaming when epis haliborus or sulfur through the well selected remedy is failed to improve and click up plononica several bad cases permanently cured after borax or sorinum has been failed so this is the particular remedy which having the history of tubercular affection when the best selected remedy is relief or permanently improve without the reference of to the name of the disease then there is an acute cerebral or basilar meningitis with threatened effusion and there is a nocturnal hallucination and the patient is wakes from the sleeps and frightened screaming and the similar symptom has been seen in epis haliborus sulfur even though these three remedies are given and it fail to improve we can think of this particular remedy and the remedy is tuberculin yes 
I think from the first clue itself, somebody has been find out that is the remedy is tuber cleanup. So the next is this particular remedy is called for in colic after the failure of colosin. The pain or gripping, gutting character and relieved by bending double. Neuralgic affection are also common with this remedy and general often obstinate character. And this remedy has helped me out in such case when others seemingly indicated remedies is failed. So this is the particular remedy. We can get the similar modality of colosin. That's the bending, uh, bending double amelioration. And then there is a neurological affection. It's also common with this remedy. And which is the, the neurological affection, which is obstinate in character. And this remedy is helped to find the cases seem indicated other remedies has been failed. So the remedy is causticum. So it may be new to someone or someone may be familiar with that. But this uh, remedy has been helped me a lot when the colosin has failed. And next, in gallstone, after the failure with Naxomica, China, Cardus, and Podophyllum, and other apparently well selected remedies failed. I think most of you have guessed the answer correctly. Yes, that is Palestrina. And this is the other remedy that is cured aphonia from exposure. And when aconite, carbovage, phosphorus and spongia has failed. So when there is an exposure from coal. And when there is an cured aphonia, when these particular remedies are failed to relieve, then we can think of Sina. And this is the other remedy. It's often useful in gonorrhea after the failure of pulse to finish the cure. And pulsatla is undoubtedly the remedy often indicated in orthitis from suppressed gonorrhea, but it has reduced the pain. And restored the discharge. It fails to reduce the swelling or induration. And this remedy will do the rest. Can anyone guess what was the remedy? So the remedy is Sina. So next is. That is also cured aphonia from exposure when aconite carbovage. Phosphorus and spongia has failed. Sorry. Yes. Sorry that that remedy is not Sina. That is Climatis erecta. There may be some. Some misunderstanding. Sorry. So the Clematis erecta is the remedy. It is useful when there is a gonorrhea and the failure of pulsatla is uh, given, but it failed to complete the cure. Or pulsatla, uh, when we think of orchitis from the mums, or uh, we can think of pulsatla. Similarly, here is also an orchitis that is in, from the suppressed gonorrhea, but after has reduced the pain and restored the discharge. It will reduce the pain. But pulsatla, after prescribing the pulsatla, the pain will be reduced and the discharge is also uh, somewhat okay. But it reduce, uh, fail to complete the cure or there is some swelling is persisting with an induration. We can think of clematis erecta. So these remedies should remember in all case of falling compensation 
with dilatation of the heart also in fatty hearts frequently gives reliefs when digital uh, digitalis and other cardiac stimulants have failed and this particular remedy has immense effect of cardiac system and when the particular remedy like digitalis has been failed we can think of this particular remedy and the remedy is cartagius and cartagius is a very good remedy for heart affection particularly fatty hearts and frequently gives relief relieves when digitalis and other cardiac stimulant have failed with the dilatation of the heart next is laryngeal diphtheria after calibi clacaninum is failed and post diphtheric paralysis after causticum and gelsemium also failed so this is the remedy when the patient from the first seems doomed and then carefully selected remedy is failed to relieve or permanently improve the remedy is diphtherium diphtherinum sorry so diphtherinum is the remedy when there is a laryngeal diphtheria after calibi clacaninum failed and diphtheritic paralysis in causticum and that also got failed so then listen about the particular remedy. in sorry there is an acne all form simplex rosacea aggravation during menses and from coffee fat sugar and meat and when the best selected remedy fails or only palliate so there is a acne from all simplex rosacea okay aggravation mainly during menses and which is also get aggravated from coffee fat sugar meat and when the best selected remedy fails or only palliates then there will be a constipation also with the backache from inactivity of rectum and when sulfur is also failed to relieve so can anyone guess the remedy yes the remedy is sorinum and other symptom that is chronic gonorrhea of years duration that can neither be suppressed nor cured when the best selected remedy is also failed so uh, this is the remedy of given for acne in all forms when aggravation during menses and when we have given all the sorts of what uh, mm, uh, remedies like calibro astrasia rubens then uh, then uh, silesia whatever it may be all the remedies has been given but there is no improvement and we can think of this particular remedy that is sorina and there will be a constipation with the backache from inactivity of rectum when sulfur fails to re relieve and in case of hemorrhoids we can think of sorinum and in uh, when this uh, escolas is indicated and we can think uh, indicated but it seems failed we can think of this particular remedy that is constip uh, constipation that is sorinum then the chronic gonorrhea of the years duration that can be suppressed or nor cured when the best selected remedy that is also this particular remedy that is sorina so fits another remedy that is frequently affords relief when candaris has been failed in dysuria the remedy is and that is also sorina and next this is also remedy is sorinum but try to listen what are the things mentioned by different starters that is during pregnancy the most obstinate vomiting and fetus movements too violently when the best selected remedy is fails to reveal sorry relief so this is the remedy we can sorinum is the remedy can think of during pregnancy and there is a most obstinate vomiting of vomiting and the fetus is moved too violently and 
when the best selected remedy is failed to relieve we can think of sorina as the acute symptom passed off there there was the great fear and mental restlessness which upon it failed to relieve so when you think of fear or mental restlessness we we usually go up with upon it in the sudden onset and even though prescribing upon it we are not getting the proper relief then we can think of this particular remedy that is sorina and other thing when there is a lack of reaction that is the phagocyte is so defective and well chosen uh, remedies is failed to act then we can think of at that place also we can think of sorina so these are the importance of the great antisoric remedy so this is an another remedy that is frequently affords a relief when candaris has failed in dysuria that is if you sit up okay there is some disturbance in my slides sorry can continue then that is this is the particular remedy has beginning arterial sclerosis progressing rather rapidly increased bp that is uh, this is the particular remedy will increase the bp very rapidly then edema gangrene and perpural hemorrhagia when this particular remedy is indicated and fails and it is the homeopathic use for the main identi identical with those of ck but with this remedy will sometimes succeeded when the ck is also failed so this is the remedy can be used in arteriosclerosis that means arteriosclerosis with rapidly increasing bp the remedy is ergotin and this is the remedy and where there is an edema gangrene and purpura hemorrhagica when the ck is indicated but fail and another thing where the ck is this particular ergotin is the remedy is having the similar set of uh, symptoms like ck also so when the ck is indicated but fail we can think of this particular remedy and there is a terrible burning and as if live coal were on the other parts like uh parts of cancer or carbuncle or erysipelas and the remedy is ephorbium so ephorbium is a one of the good remedy for the uh, palliative purpose when symptom corresponds and next the remedy is hoarseness in the morning and it's like causticum okay and if either of these remedy fail to cure the hoarseness sulfur will often complete them and the remedy is i'll tell you the remedy at last and then concussion of the brain from a blow on head pupils dilated almost inactivity to light and the pulses full easily compressed and could arouse him but he could became drowsy again at once breathing heavy and slow especially aggravation at 3 to 6 pm after the arnica has been failed so there will be a concussion of brain from a blow on head 
and the pupils are almost uh, dilated and there is an inactive to light pulses full and easily compressed cloud arose him but he could became drowsy again it at once breathing is very heavy and slow especially aggravation at 3 to 6 pm when arnica is faint so the remedy is heliborus like 4 to 8 pm there is an aggravation in lycopodium and again here is heliborus has the aggravation of 3 to 6 pm and when the concussion will think of arnica everyone know and arnica is also failed in such case we can think of heliborus there will be a sudden violent onset in radiating redness thrombing worse by slightest motion and bell is useful before pus is matured if it is failed and the pus matures children is not easily impressed when and it at seems indicated in cuff and when it requires after spongia this remedy is indicated when the mucus commences to rattle so this is one of the respiratory remedy let's see what is the remedy that is hepa self yes hepa self the patient is, uh, is having sudden violent onset and the radiating redness thrombing so feel and which is aggravated by even the slightest motion and the belladonna is indicated when the pus is matured but it fails and the children is not easily impressed when it seems and it at seems indicated but the child they will not get any uh, relief or the spongia is the remedy indicated when the mucus comes comes to rattle then we can think of hepa self I think there is some problem with these slides. I think now it's visible. I'll go ahead with like this. Wait a minute. Okay, I think now it's visible for everyone. Yes. So another is the this this particular remedy will bring menses when natremur is so apparently indicated and fail, and there is an aminoria, and this is complementary to carbovage and similar to it. many forms and the disease particularly in lung inflammation sometime when one fails the other complete uh, completes the cure hence the origin of complemental relation so these are the remedy having very similar with the natremur and this remedy is mainly indicated when there is an female complaint that will or when there is an amenorrhea we can think patient of natremur presenting with amenorrhea and you know the patient is really natremur but it doesn't work then we can think of this particular remedy and this is very this is also complementary to carbovage and in and it can be used in many type of lung inflammatory uh, inflammation like pneumonia and so many conditions and this particular remedy is complete the action 
action and it helps to cure the original complaint. That is calicarb. Yes, calicarb. If pneumonia or pleura or pneumonia when dry has failed, when to it indicated and further examination reveals that the stitching pain comes on independently of the respiratory movement and this remedy often help and follow well after breath. So when think of pneumonia, we will consider that is arsiod, arsalb, then bryonia, uh, then natrum. Then in such cases, we can think caliayod. So in such cases, we can think of calicarb also when there is a pleural pneumonia and it, the bryonia has been indicated but the bryonia is not relief, uh, relieves the symptom. And then we can think of calicarb and definitely it will help the cases. And I have the experience that caliayod has been given and it solved the case of pneumonia. So next remedy is MACFOS. And few points about the MACFOS is there will be a colic of hoarseness. Horse or cows when follows in this fails to ameliorate. And there will be a spasmodic hiccup of three days. Three days duration and after the failure of that like morphine and chloroform. And there will be a convulsion and cramps during dentition without fever and convulsive symptom after the failure of belladonna. And the chamomilla is succeeded in the colic of children. And if there is much with distance of abdomen and the child toses about in agony, but does not double it like colosin. It's somewhat like if the patient is having a sim similar uh, colic, or colic like chamomilla, but the patient is not that much relieved from the bending double like colosin. Then we can think of MACFOS and also Nash has been men mentioned and this is the particular remedy has cured so many cases. So the remedy is MACFOS. So next remedy that is medorinum. The medorinum is constitutional effect of maltreated and suppressed gonorrhea and when the symptoms selected and the remedy is failed to relieve or permanently improve. So the medorinum, when considering the medorinum, they, it's, it's quite, uh, quite, it's not quite common in South Tamil Nadu to find a medorinum patient, but there is a patient, there is also the patient of medorinum constitution. Uh, if the, if the particular constitution is maltreated and suppressed gonorrhea, when the best selected remedy is failed to relieve or permanently improve. So sometimes we'll think of tuja, like gonorrhea, we can think of psychotic myosin tuja. When the particular remedy is also failed, we can think of medorinum. And there is an uh, nocturnal aneurysis causes enormous quantity of ammonical high colored urine in bed every night. Aggravation, overwork or overplay, extremes of heat or cold. And the, when the best selected remedy is also failed with the history of psychosis. So when there is a history of psychosis and the patient is having the high external neurosis with high colored urine and he uh, at night, which is aggravated by overwork or overplay and the, so the apparent selected remedy is also failed, we can think of medorinum. Okay, so this is the remedy that is tuberculinum. So what are the things when and which are the condition where the tuberculinum is indicated even the when selected remedy is also failed. That we will see. So tuberculinum is indicated when sorinum and sulfur or the best selected remedy is failed or failed to relieve or permanently improve and follows. Then when there is sorinum or sulfur or the best selected remedy is failed to relieve or permanently improve. And sorinal constitution remedy in hay fever in asthma. When the patient presenting with an asthma and uh, you are given so many remedies and not improved, then we can think of intercurrent <coughs> as an intercurrent remedy. <coughs> Sorry, tuberculum as an intercurrent remedy. 
and when the symptom is constantly changing and when selected remedies fail to improve cold is taken from the slightest exposure when think of the uh, when uh, patients are coming to us with the uh, complaint of uh, repeated sneezing uh, uh, which is aggravated from early morning or cold exposure or cold wind uh, like that so we have given so many remedies and the patient uh, feels better but he is not improving then definitely we can think of tuberculinum in that case as an intercurrent and it is an indication of tuberculinum when the well selected remedy fails to act whenever there is a background of tubercular miasm and you can uh, think the well selected remedy is also not acting then uh, we can generally we can give a remedy of tuberculinum and which is also mentioned by dr kent and when there is an especially in girls there is a bookkeepers or shopkeepers who have inherited uh, tuberculosis constitution who have aches and pains during damp weather and in rainy weather during storm and when there is a weather change or when the weather became cold then it is then it is that note that tuberculinum will cure the case even after the aggravation of cold we can think uh, aggravation of cold and damp weather we can think of rustox also in when the rustox is also failed in such area we can think of tuberculinum and this one more thing the patient is also better by motion uh, and better by walking and was during rest the similar symptom can be noted in rustox also so whenever there is a, some respiratory complaint which is having the constitution of uh, tb that mean uh, tb in their constitution like uh, in the family uh, in uh, family genetical or the through the miasm they may they might be having tuberculosis then we can think of tuberculinum and when they this is also uh, used when rustox is fail and the same modality is also similar like that of rustox Uh, like other remedy that is calcarea flu is also the similar modality like rustox so these are the points about the tuberculinum and then about the mephitis the mephitis this is in in, in asthma of drunkards and it may also be used in asthma of conceptus when resira is also failed in asthma of drunkards and it may 